Tap them. It's the um, just like that. I get a text and I have to start responding and stuff right in the middle of the video. Um, light orange box. You know what this is. Well, if you don't, more than likely you don't, because they're not in regular stores. You're not going to find it at a Foot Locker or anywhere like that. But it's the Fear of God. Jerry Lorenzo's. Um, this is the Raid Air Fear of God. So it's a Nike Air Fear of God 1. Black, black fossil is the color. It's a men's size 9. The style code is AT8087002. And uh, SRP is 190. It's like the... Uh, Jordan Retros. I'm trying to look on the box here just to make sure there's no Fear of God signature kind of light on the box. And there isn't one. Um, style, the UPC. Four to size nine, one nine three, one four seven, eight six eight, six six one. There's a 14 at the end. So let's get this opened up and start kind of going through it. Just checking the lid, the flap. Usually there's a QC stamp right there. There's not a QC stamp on here. Um, pull the tray out. And I'm going to pull everything out of here to, uh, because the paper's balled up on the inside of that. But I want to see if there's a stamp inside of the box because this is a shoe that will more than likely be bootlegged. Anytime you get a Jerry Lorenzo product, if it's not bootleg, Kenneth Cole will make a bootleg copy of the boot <laughs> like they did with the uh, Fear of God boot last year. It was horrible. But I'm going to hold these up. Taking this paper out, and we do have a QC sticker, so that's a good thing. Glad I did pull that out. We got two layers of paper, and that takes away from me trying to get to the shoe quickly because this is pulled out. But the QC sticker reads QC 22 OK, QC 22 OK. But let's get this back in here, and I'm making sure to show you guys the additional set of rope laces that come with it with these kind of white. Pearlized, uh, tipped, um, they're not pearl, um, aglets on these rope laces. So it's a very thick set of rope laces. Um, I don't know if you're going to be replacing these with white. That's a very stark contrast. If you pull that off, then I guess you could. But of course, the Fear of Gods are going to have a more premium build. And these definitely have a premium build. So I'm going to keep these up in front of the camera so you can see it. The uh, shoe is based on the Raid, the Air Raid. So we know that it has a history behind it. And as far as the look of it and the quality, this leather suede is premium. It's really a soft grain of leather. The swoosh, all of it, right? And then you have this uh, kind of... I don't think that's a mesh, but I don't know what material that is on the toe box. If somebody knows, tell me. I'm cool with that. It's not like, you know, you can be the smartest person in the room all the time. You know what I'm saying? The uh, lace lock has the air fear of God on it, which is really cool. See if you can see that. Air fear of God on the lace lock. And this is a double stacked heel unit, the same as the basketball version of the shoe that PJ Tucker played in earlier this year. It's a double stacked uh, cushioning. Now, I don't know if it's got zoom in the forefoot, forefoot. I'm not sure about that. I'd have to look it up and do some research. But it reads Air 180. So, no, it doesn't. Fear of God, uh, SN, was that season? 832, 9166. Hmm. Don't know those numbers, but let me move that up so you can see them. Bam. So you got a good look at that. Uh, do I want to pull everything out of here? Yeah, just real quick. And make sure you see the Air Fear of God is upside down. That's on the inside of the shoe right here. It's hard to see it, of course, because the lighting isn't that great. There we go. We're in focus, but it's upside down, kind of like the Jordan in the Retro 9 and in a number of uh, shoes, the Retro 4. And then on the footbeds, you have Air Fear of God on the footbed. And I'm not digging deep into the shoe. Just want to make sure you guys get a good look at it. For those of you who have never seen it before, it's a good chance for you to see it and you can make a decision if you want to get a pair. Um, they're not selling for a uh, price far above 
retail, the price is adjusted down. So those of you who don't have the shoe where you are, you can pick up a pair for basically retail on StockX. And it's like a StockX ad. Not paying me to say that. I'm just, you know, saying that's where you can get it. Um, interesting thing as far as buying sneakers. I used to be on Amazon where I sold sneakers. And uh, real quick, heel. Nike Air on the heel. And um, a lot of shoes can't be sold on Amazon anymore because the brands have brand registry. Um, I had somebody write me and they, they were like, uh, the brands are just sending shoes straight to StockX. That couldn't be further from the truth, man. It's not true. And people have to be very careful with the things that they say. Um, the brands don't have a reason to send anything to StockX because a lot of the shoes on StockX are selling for a lot less than they would if all of us sellers um, decided to go back to eBay, Amazon, or our own website. So think about that. Um, if you guys who are the shoppers, obviously you probably love StockX because people are dropping stuff on there for far too cheap. Uh, these sold, the paper has fear of God on it too, so you couldn't see that because it was so balled up, but it has fear of God all over it. Uh, buying things on the StockX platform is good. It's a consumer's market, so you get the shoes for the price that you want to get them for. But it's a very uh, precarious situation that people who sell shoes are in. Uh, overall, the market is not healthy. It's very good for Nike. If you saw their recent quarterly report, and I'm not turning this into an insider ties, but you know, it's just something to think about, man. There's a lot going on in the business, and we all have to be careful. People like me who sell sneakers and who love sneakers, and people like you who are buying sneakers. You got to be careful, man. There's a lot going on, and. Uh, I'll leave it at that. I'm going to do some videos and talk about these things. Make sure you look at the Inside of Tides videos. And um, look at the drop-in Inside of Tides that are not on Fridays where I tell you about stuff that's going on in the sneaker industry. See you guys on the next one. Jerry Lorenzo. Shout out. Premium Materials. This shoe is not for me. But they do look fresh.